Well, in the Edinburgh Biocourt here in Petit France, uh, and the work that's going on here is quite incredible. I mean, the number of companies who are located here in this, uh, in this nexus of life science companies has gone from seven to ten in a, a single day in the announcements we're making. And the breakthroughs in medical science and life sciences that are being engineered here are absolutely fantastic. They're going to bring benefits to the lives of countless millions of people around the planet. There's no doubt that the life sciences base in Scotland can have a transformational effect on the Scottish economy. If you look at the world leading research, the opportunity to get that into companies, to create more jobs, we've seen the fastest growth in life sciences in terms of employment than any other sector in Scotland. We're seeing massive international exporting, so as a contributor to the economy, it's absolutely phenomenal. I'd say one of the top three industries in terms of Scotland's transformational capability. This is the Life Science Day in a, a week of uh, celebrating the achievements of Scottish science. And Life Sciences alone is a fast-growing part of the overall scientific community. We've got over 600 organisations, 32,000 jobs in Scotland on, on life sciences, and that's growing very, very quickly indeed. So what we're seeing here in the Edinburgh Biocourt is just a, a small part of a, an expansion that's taking place uh, uh, across Scotland. And this place here is going to be in the world's top ten of Biocourters making breakthroughs in these crucial areas. I mean, just today, for example, I saw uh, diagnostic uh, equipment which allows tests to be made in very young, young patients, as young as a few months, whereas previously they had to be years old before such tests could be carried out. That's obviously going to be of enormous benefit to clinicians. Secondly, a, a screening test for MRSA, which is going to be very quick, very effective, and that has clear implications for bearing down on hospital-acquired uh, infections in our health service and health services around the world. That's fantastic that these things have been developed here in Scotland. And that project is called the, the William Wallace Project. So I'm delighted that, that scientists who are looking to the future of Scotland cast an eye on, on Scotland's history as well.